go ahead and see what we have here now. I'm going to actually just go ahead and clear everybody right out. And we're going to design our unit from scratch here and see what we have to bring. So, first one in. <clears throat> we do need our mechs. Now, Silver Rice is a colonel, has a couple medals. That'd be a good one to bring. Always want one of our tanks. Silver Rice is also one of our tankiest characters. Lots and lots of upgrades on him to make him tanky. So, mech in. As far as support goes, the only supports we have now... Actually, I think I have a couple new backups, but our wings is our main support. And then Robadier did become a support. He's still rather low-ranked. And we did actually just get a brand new support in one of our, uh, our recruits, but they're still just a squad. So I think for now, on the bomb mission, since they, sent, they tend to be really intensive, mainly just because they have to get to the bombs in certain amounts of time, I want to be able to shoot through all the aliens I come across as fast as possible. So I'm probably going to bring my top characters for this in each respective role. Um, so our wings as our top support will come in on this one. Exocon would come in as our sniper, however he is he is off doing covert stealth missions. So we have to bring in our second sniper, our backup to him, which is Tander. So Tander is our backup sniper. Um, as far as a heavy goes, our main heavy is Ugi. We'll probably bring him in, but I wanted to remember, who was our backup to him? Do I even have a backup heavy, really? I have one random guy, a backup heavy, and Zhang. But no named backup heavies. No, I have Asko Nordic. That's right, we were working on him. So we do have a couple backup heavies in that regard. So go ahead and grab Ugi. And then, as far as an assault goes, Skelgoroth is our main assault. And he was becoming an extremely BA assault. A very badass assault, because if I remember right, he had some amazing abilities. Yeah, he had dual grenades on an assault, he had sprinter, he had rapid fire, and lightning reflexes, and bullet swarm. So this was just an extremely versatile and amazing assault character. So, we have an assault, a heavy, a sniper, and a support. So we have our four main roles, and we have one mech. So let's see, we probably want to bring in... Oh, additionally, let me double check here. We have... Alright, I just want to check to make sure... Okay, we are... All the people on the mission right now are different nationalities. That's helpful because a couple of my medals give us additional defense or aim if we have a, uh, the more diverse our group is. So, we wanted to bring in, probably a, go ahead and bring another mech in. Now we have two big mechs. We have Killens, a mech trooper, and Flash Striker. Now we've been running with Killens the last few times, so I think we're going to bring Flash Striker in this time. Um, just to get him going. But first I'm going to grab Killens. I want to take a look. He is... What rank is he? Is he a captain? Okay. And then what about... Oops. Went too far. Went too far. Launch mission. There we go. Alright. And then what rank is Flash Striker? He is... Da -da -da. He is a lieutenant, so he is further down the line. So I do actually want him in here trying to gain up on rank as well. Let's go ahead. We'll bring him in. Or her in, I should say. Although, why is she not wearing her mech suit? Kind of weird. Let's keep your mech suit on. Come on. And also, give... Or the rail gun. So you have that nice new sexy rail gun. So flash striker is all set. Let's make sure everybody else is fully equipped on what they need. Care based armor, laser rifle, yes, yes, and double grenades. Perfect. Our salt is set there. Our heavy should have his heavy laser, care based armor, and a rocket launcher with a grenade. Yep. Our sniper does have the scope. He also has care based and laser sniper rifle. Perfect. And our support should have a laser rifle. Air base armor, pistol, and med kits. Yep. And then our last guy, Mech here, should have the railgun and the, the new Sentinel, the upgraded Sentinel, which includes a grenade launcher, which is friggin' fantastic. So, perfect. We are all set on those guys. I am curious. He has actually quite a high aim, too. What does our other sniper's aim? Our other sniper's aim is 102, so still a long ways behind uh, Exocon. I mean, even with his scope at 112, doesn't even match the base Exocon that you have in your aim. It's just ridiculous. It's it's crazy how much aim you have. You don't ever, like, you never miss. <laughs> Let's go ahead and launch this mission. Mexico, begin our assault, please. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. All right, so we have to deactivate the bombs, delay the detonation countdowns by deactivating the bomb power sources, and prevent reactivation by limiting all remaining opposition. Kill everything, deactivate power sources, deactivate bombs. Can do. And this looks like it's actually one of those bridge missions, so it's actually a very, very contained 
zone, which is actually, for a bomb disposal, is not bad. Strike one. Um, Council because it gives us limited areas that we have to explore, kind in your and it makes it so we can just kind of go down sure the middle. The only problem with it is if we get a ton of aliens surrounding us, it can be very, kind of be a, a cluster crap, so. Our sensor readings indicate that device so we've got some sort of priming mechanism. one of the, the power sources right up in front of us, from another one right to the left itself. of it. Disabling this power two of them are real close by, which is nice. We have three turns to get explosive. to this one anyways. Objectives Every time we updated. eliminate one of these power sources, our timing will go up, so we'll have more time to get the bomb actually deactivated. So, Tander is our sniper. He's gonna kinda get into his position behind this car here. That way he has a nice straight shot up and down this place. Can't wait to get Archangel armor for my snipers, because it's just a beautiful thing. But for now, Tander will go right there. Oogie, my heavy, can kind of, you know what, he can actually just take cover right up by the by the power source and go ahead and get ready to activate disarm that. Might as well do it right now. And then he can go ahead and overwatch right there. We have our wings, our support, just come up here behind this car. We don't want to dash him too far forward. Put him into overwatch right there. Skelgaroth, what are you? You are my assault. You are my crazy awesome assault. I'm gonna bring you up the right flank, probably. I'm gonna bring you actually to the left side of this truck, but you're gonna be continuing to go up this right flank, whereas I'll have probably uh, Oogie go up the middle. And I need someone to come over to this left side. So let's see, we have Silver Ice. Silver Ice has the best movement of everybody. Um, I'm actually gonna dash Silver Rice. He's gonna dash up here behind this uh, alien pod. Actually, no, we'll put him up by, well, it doesn't matter. He's a, he's a mech. He doesn't have to actually, he can't hide behind anything anyway, so... We might as well bring him right up by the power source itself. And yes, you are very much like a real-life dead shot. It's, well, a video game dead shot, but yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculously insane. Alright, so we covered three uh, thin men. They're all hiding back here. They are gonna get shots on my mech, but my mech's super tanky, so I'm not too worried about him dying or anything of that nature. I am going to, in that regard, dash my... Last Striker is my other mech. I want him to be on the right side. I want a left side mech and a right side mech, and I'll probably actually bring Oogie over to the left side with that mech and keep, uh, keep Skelgroth on this side with Flash Striker. And then that way I can just have my sniper and my support take up behind. So we'll just go ahead and move my other mech up onto this side here, dash him up there, because he's not going to be able to get anywhere where he can get a shot off anyway, so put him there. And then Skell, it's your turn again? Weird. I thought I had uh, put you in Overwatch, but apparently I did not, so I'm gonna do that. There we go. Alright, they're gonna take shots at my mechs. That's just, that's gonna happen. Yep, two damage to him. Now that his ability will activate, he'll actually take less damage from the next hit, so he might only take one here. Yep, one damage, so. The nice thing about my mech, he is super tanky. Particularly that mech, Silver Ice. And that one's gonna miss. So, oh, perfect. We can have our sniper actually take pretty much probably any of these guys out. He's got a 92%, 100%, and 100%. Uh, the left side has two on it, so we'll go ahead and take the left side 100% out. We'll just have a regular shot. That should kill it. Don't need to use the headshot. No. Perfect. Boom. Down you go, Mr. Thin Man. Boogie, unfortunately, does not have any kind of shot at anything. I'm going to see Silver Ice does. So what we'll do is first have him disarm this. And then we're going to have Silver Ice move right up here, because Silver Ice has a crazy, crazy movement. None of them are in Overwatch. I'll just blast the crap out of the guy right to the left of him. Down it goes. Perfect. Excellent. And then he can just go ahead and stay right there. Last Striker can come up behind this car door. And, uh... I think should be able to see the one over here and get a shot on him. Maybe not. Interesting. I figured he'd be able to see the guy over here, but either way, he can just go into Overwatch. Once it pops its ugly head out, he'll take it out. That means I'm gonna have Oogie dash up behind the car, because I don't want to keep him in the open. He is uh, heavy, but can't take as much damage as my mechs can, so he's got to stay in some kind of cover. Our wings can move up behind this car where he was a second ago. And then my sniper is gonna stay where he was at, because he already shot. So I'll just go ahead and put our wings into Overwatch. And Skelgaroth, my assault. Um, I might run and gun you up here, because if I do, you could probably see that guy. If you can't, then all I have to do is put you into Overwatch, so we're going to take that chance. We're going to dash Skelgaroth up here. 
he'll actually be able to deactivate the uh, bomb, or not the bomb, the power source. He can't see the guy, Good apparently. Job, I mean, I see That's him on the map, but minutes. apparently he can't, so he'll just go into Overwatch using that running gun. Hey, Silver Ice, how's it going, man? Your mech is so tanky, it's ridiculous. I mean, seriously, he just point-blank shot you in the face. That's you right there, Silver Ice, and you took one damage. Because I have you so tanky, it's hilarious. And we'll just have Tander take that guy out right there. Boom. Nice. Alright, so that takes care of that. Um, we need to keep moving up, though. We have more of these power sources dis to disarm. We've got one on the left, one on the right, two on the right, actually. So, let's go ahead. I'm gonna have Silver Ice come up over this one over here. I don't think... I don't think a mech can get poisoned. That's a good question. That I don't know. I feel like no. This could be a bad move if he can, but we'll find out in a second. Alright, a couple more Thin Men. We should be able to get some shots on them from our other characters. Hopefully. Alright, so it doesn't look like you got poisoned, so I'm gonna have you disarm this really quick. You actually have a shot on these guys. 94, 82, so go ahead and kill the 94 if you can. Boom, down it goes, perfect. Excellent, excellent. And then I'll go ahead and have Flash Striker, my other mech here. He does not have nearly as much movement speed, but uh, I'm still going to probably bring him up right up over here. Use him as bait, because he's pretty tanky too. Not nearly as tanky as Silver Ice, but tanky enough. And these are only Thin Men, so they're not going to be too dangerous. Alright, a couple more Thin Men. If I run into anything a little earlier, then I'll probably have to play my mechs a little safer, but right now it's okay. Um, for now, let's see. Skelgaroth, I'm gonna move you up behind this truck. You'll be able to get a shot on that guy to the left, probably. Oh, there's even two more Thin Men. Holy crap, I have like probably six Thin Men out there right now that need to die. Um, what kind of percentage do you have? 79%? Alright, go ahead and just take a regular shot. Nice, alright, that takes one out. And then, you actually, Oogie. I don't think... No, you're not going to be able to get a rocket that far. But what I'm going to have you do is just probably... Since you're a heavy, you don't really have long range, and I don't want to put you in the open, so you're just going to have to come up behind this truck here. Just go ahead and go into Overwatch right there. And then our wings. I'm going to dash you up somewhere more useful. Oh, council missions you only, usually only have thin men? All right. Well, yeah, the thin men... Although there's a lot more now than I expected, so now I need to play it a little safer probably with my mechs, but it'll be okay for another round. They should be anyways. I mean, he's going to miss this mech, so Flash Striker's not going to get hit by that guy. The next guy will shoot at Flash Striker probably as well. Now, he hasn't been hit yet, so he's got to be hit once before that damage reduction kicks in, but even hitting once like that does two damage. So once they hit me now, from now on, it's only going to do one damage. So... Just tanky, tanky mechs. And he missed Silver Ice, so perfect. Alright, so Tander, my sniper, from way back where he is. I mean, he is so far back, but has such a friggin' amazing range. He's just gonna go ahead and try to take this guy out. Boom, nice. Sniper shots for the win. Alright, let's move to Silver Ice here. What kind of percentage shot do you have on him? Uh, 67%, huh? Let's see if I have better shots from other people first. Skell has a 94 on him, 59 on him. Okay, so we'll take the 94 shot. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Dead and you actually get a second shot, because you're Skell. And it's only 59, but I'm just going to have to take a regular shot. I'm not going to waste a grenade on just the one right there. Oh, that was a miss. Um, Silver Ice... I actually could just move you up right here. That way you can deactivate this uh, power source and get a better percentage shot, most likely. So I'll move you up right there. There's the bomb, so not too far off. When I gene mod the sniper, well, I'd probably want to gene mod Exocon. He's actually my best sniper. He's just on a covert mission right now. But I don't know what the gene mods add, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping for amazing things. Okay, I can either shoot this guy at 74 or shoot that guy at 92. Um, I prefer to shoot the guy to the left of me, but let me see, does anybody else have a shot? This guy does. Not a great shot, I'm gonna move up on that guy. 
Um, move Flash Striker right up here. Should have almost a point blank shot on him. 71%. Well, that's better than nothing. Go ahead and see if you can hit him. Nice job. Okay. Now I can have my other mech shoot the other guy. However, Googie, I'm gonna have Googie go ahead and dash up to this power source. I actually forgot to do this one back here. I'll probably have uh, our wings run up to that one. Yep. Dash you up there. Perfect. And that's Silver Rice. Well, I could just throw a launch a grenade right at you. Overkill, but why not? <laughs> Boom! There's some nice fun. Alright. Oh. oh god! That car exploded. I am sorry, Silver Ice, you just took some nasty damage. I knew this truck was gonna explode, but it would only be the front cab, but I wasn't paying attention to the car by Silver Ice. It's okay, though. He's still feeling alright, and I'll go up and heal him. Alright, so. My sniper can just go ahead and reload. Uh, Oogie, we'll come back to you in a second. Let me have... Our wings, let's have you disarm oh. this power source. Perfect. I'm gonna have you dash over next to Silver Ice so you can heal him. On your next turn, anyways. And then Skelgaroth, you go ahead and reload. Let's rock. Silver Ice, you can reload. Back in. We'll have Flash Striker move right up here onto the side of this power source. Go ahead and deactivate oh. that one. And then we'll just have you reload as well. Down. And then Ugi can go ahead and deactivate this one. And then I'm going to have you, Ugi, since you're pretty much full on ammo, I'm going to have you dash over to the other power source for next turn. I, mean, I care about Silver Rice. He does. He is so tanky, he is my main tank. I could throw him into battle and not worry about him dying from one shot at all. And plus he's got my, ro he's got my freaking rocket launcher grenades. He's got a grenade launcher, it's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and move my sniper up a little bit. Um, no, Silver Ice, you don't have the uh, heal ability. You have the uh, grenade launcher. Um, that's why I brought our wings over here to help heal you. Um, I say Flash Striker has the heal ability. Because I needed, you know, I wanted at least one of you guys to have it. But you said you had wanted the, the launcher grenades, so I made sure I got you that. Alright, Skell, you go ahead and move right up here. Go into Overwatch. Um, Silver Rice, you can just come up right to this corner here. Position Doesn't control. really matter. Just kind of slowly move up. And you do have three bandages, our wings. You definitely do. You are you are loaded with uh, with healing abilities. I'm gonna put you into Overwatch right there. We'll have Flash Striker come up from the other side. Oh, the passive self heal. I don't know if I got you that or not. I may have. I know I got it on one of my mechs at least, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, deactivate that, bring you up here behind the car. Perfect. Can I see if anybody else shows up? No, no, doesn't look like it, so I'll just keep up Tander and Overwatch, in case I have to come back this way, he can snipe things out. We'll Boogie up to the bomb. Have you disarm it. There we go, and Excellent now we just gotta work, kill remaining one. aliens. Wipe out any remaining aliens. If there are any. Okay. Enemy forces headed your way, oh, strike here we one. go. We got Get some ready. coming in. New objective received. All right, I'm gonna put everybody on Overwatch for a minute. Let's see where these new aliens come in from. And if they come in close, I could shoot them all. I got my sniper in the back guarding us, but if they drop down on him, he might be screwed. So. All right, here we go. Thin Man up on top of the truck. Should get an Overwatch shot on him, possibly. Thin Man right here. Oh yeah, he'll definitely get reaction shots on him. But they went to shoot the other one first. He blew up. And then... Anybody gonna shoot this one? Oh man. Okay, that one was taken out. About this one? Oh, that was a bad miss. Okay. Well, all of them but two were taken out. Tander actually has a shot on one of them. 100% shot. Take it, Mr. Sniper. Oh, I love some snipers. Okay, Oogie, you actually can just go ahead and move to the other side of this car. And just hold your overwatch there. Our wings, you can go ahead and take a shot at this guy. Should be able to kill him. 
Nice. Oh, my poison, my other guy. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. Killed them all, no one lost, guys. Good stuff. Good job, everyone. Go team. And I actually have three of you that are there on the team. Exocon, Silver Ice, and our wings are all... Or no, Exocon's not. He's on the covert mission. I apologize. He is doing covert amazing things. But we'll be going and meeting him soon when we go ahead and extract him from the covert mission. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, Oogie was promoted to uh, Colonel, I believe. Yep. Okay, so now I can get the second rocket or Mayhem, an additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area effect abilities. You know, that's nice and all, but two rockets is very, very helpful. I like having double rockets, especially since I have the, uh, the increased rocket area of effect. So, yeah, let's go ahead and back out of there. And then Flash Striker was promoted as well to Captain, perfect. Okay, so we have repair servos and expanded storage. So, first two health recovery at the start of each turn. Alright, this is what you were talking about a second ago. And then expanded storage. Yeah, I don't know if I've actually been getting the repair servos at all. I've been getting re expanded storage because it allows me to have more ammo. And it also allows additional uses of restorative mist and all that stuff. So I just, I really think expanded storage is a lot better. Um, in my opinion. Just having the extra ammo, having the ability to throw my grenades further is just, a, it's really nice. So, and also being able to use my restorative mist better. So, I think I'm going to stick with uh, expanded storage for now on this guy. Um, other than that, no one was hurt. So, we don't have anybody going to the med bay at all, which is nice. And we did get $174 and some panic reduction, Remember, which is awesome. We will be watching. And we are, yeah, we are pretty satellite covered at this point. We only have four countries left that aren't satellite covered. I do have people panicking in some countries, though, which kind of stinks. I don't really have anything to do with them at this point because I don't have... Uh, I don't have the uh, any more satellites to put on them. I can't put another satellite on Egypt, for example. So I have to just hope I get a mission on one of these and be able to reduce the panic that way. I do have four satellites coming in in construction and one more satellite nexus. So I will be able to, before the next council meeting, to be able to place the last four satellites. So that'll be, that'll be covered. Um, I still haven't captured an alien. I actually have enough money now, finally, and hopefully the power is done. Um, I can maybe finally build that, that dang uh, capturing bay, but I've just been waiting to be able to do that, so... Because I'm going to build a gene bay right here. I've got this power generator coming in. i got another satellite uplink coming in. But yeah, let's just go ahead. i got a cybernetics lab right here. I don't really have anything that needs to connect here. I may want to have another workshop or something, so... I do need to build the alien containment. I just don't have the power yet, so I've been waiting on this power generator to finish. Then I'll get the alien containment, and then eventually the gene lab. So that's what I'm waiting on at the moment. As soon as that's done, we'll have that. Um, we don't have a gene lab yet. I'm waiting on power. Power is my big, my uh, my bottleneck right now. So, go ahead, see here. I have pretty much all the guns I need at this point in time. I don't have any others I can build that I need. I've got Firestorms building right now, so those will be out soon. I already have some fusion lances ready for them. So as soon as they're done, I'll have that. Um, also, mech upgrades, though. I don't have enough meld. Because I have you and Killens upgraded to mech 2. I don't have Flash Striker yet. I'd like to get him upgraded to mech 2 as well. But for now, that's fine. Let's go back to Mission Control at the moment. And let's just keep scanning, see if we can get that power generator done. There we go. Perfect. And we got a workshop rebate from it, too. So let's go ahead and assign new construction. Get a muton capture for the grenades. Okay, yeah. Oh, you, you won't believe. Check this out. I want you to see something. My freaking... I think it's amazing anyways. Maybe you'll think differently. But my assault, Skelgaroth, look what he has for his abilities. You know, he's got his normal run and gun. But he, then he has Bullet Swarm, Lightning Reflexes, Rapid Fire, Sprinter, so he moves even further, Dual Grenades. So this guy can shoot twice, move further, hit people with two grenades. I mean, it's just intense. I mean, this, uh, this assault is just burly with his abilities. I can't wait to see what he gets for his final one. But yeah, if I could get alien grenades and have the duels on him, holy cow. So, uh, what we're gonna do is I already have the arc throwers made and ready to go. I'm just waiting on that, uh, obviously, the capture lab. So, in the meantime, what was I just doing? Uh, let me go back to engineering. I want to go to the foundry. Um, see if there's anything else I need to learn here. I could finally get stealth satellites. That'd be probably nice. Um, I already have the double the double carrying capacity one coming. It's just not done yet. Tactical rigging and scope upgrade are both coming in two days. So those are coming wrong. Um, 
other than that, I probably could get it. Let's get the improved arc thrower, so when I do capture, I hopefully can get that muton. So, let's go ahead and begin that. Um, other than that, let's see. I think we'll just leave the rest out for now. I eventually want to get stealth satellites and jelly delirium, but I don't want to spend the money the on that just yet. Um, in the meantime, sure as as do hit. I have... What is my research? I got Titan armor coming in three days, so... Let's keep scanning for now. Oh, no, wait. No, I know what I need to do. I need to start that next facility. I needed to start the, uh... The alien containment. Let's go ahead and begin construction on that. So that's building right now. Um, the gene lab. How much does that cost in power and cost? 50? Only 3 power? We do have enough, so let's go actually we'll begin the construction on that as well. So there we go. We have the gene lab coming in. Oh, wait. Hold on. Cancel it there. I need to put it under the laboratory, not under that. Because it's... It gives a laboratory boost, so we want it under the pr proper thing. So it begins construction there. There we go. And... Perfect. So alien containment and gene lab coming in. Ten days on the gene lab, seven on the alien containment. And... They have the other spots for now, but let's get the next axis lift going as well. Perfect. And then we'll have our final satellite uplink coming in three days as well. Awesome. Back out of there. As far as anything else goes, I think we're pretty much set. I'm not going to augment any more soldiers into mechs. I'm going to wait till I get the gene lab to start doing that for them. Um, I am curious. When I get the gene lab and I upgrade my soldiers, are they going to retain the abilities they already have and then get the alien abilities on top of that? Or are the alien abilities going to replace that? So, I mean, like my sniper right now, like Exocon, he has some amazing abilities and he's really, really versatile. So if I change him into a gene lab and modify him, is he going to suddenly become, you know, more powerful in that regard, but he's going to lose everything else he already had? Or is it kind of combined? Because it'd be nice if it's combined, but we'll see. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and just keep scanning. Awesome. So scope upgrade is done. Let's get the tactical rigging done. Oh, our covert operator is ready for extraction, so... I guess we need to send the uh, extraction crew first. Let's go ahead and launch the mission. Excellent. Gene mods and trooper abilities? Awesome. Awesome. That's going to be so fantastic. Oh, man. Those guys are going to be so powerful. All right. Pretty much could keep the same group. We're gonna be Exocon. We'll be meeting him there. He'll only have the pistol because this is a covert mission, but we'll meet him there. Um, so Silver Ice, our wings, Tander. Yep, yep, yep. Except I'm gonna drop Flash Strike route and bring Killins in and kind of keep alternating them in and out so they can get caught up to Silver Ice. Um, other than that, assault wise, heavy, all that stuff. Tander's my backup sniper, so he's already in. Um, where's my backup support? I don't know if I want to bring them in right now, but... My backup support is Bravadier. He's really the only one. What is he ranked? He is just a squatty, so... On a covert mission, I'm not going to take any chances, so our wings has to stay in. Oogie, my heavy. I'm going to have to... This is a covert mission. i got to keep my best guys, because I don't want anybody to die. So, let's launch this mission like this is, and then on the next mission, as long as it's, you know... Doable with a couple rookies, I'm going to bring a couple backups in and get them leveling up. No, tactical rigging didn't finish because it first got to the extraction mission. So I have to wait till this mission's over, then it's technically finished, even though it's supposed to be finished. It, it finished the scope upgrade, which was supposed to finish at the same time, but it didn't finish tactical rigging. It went to this first in the order of things, so I'll have tactical rigging next. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that. Oops. Um, yeah, see, tactical rigging isn't technically done yet, which is just silly. But it is what it is, so. It'll be done when we get back, so we'll tighten armor and a bunch of other things. So, let's just launch the mission. We are confident that you will but having tactical rigging is going to be so sexy when it's done. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Everybody will have grenades and all sorts of things. All kinds of goodies. So let's go ahead and begin the assault. Our so, sweep indicates an exalt cell rendezvous with the covert operative, which is Exocon, uh, hack the two comma race, so this is a hacking one, uh, and then escort everybody out. So, elimination of exalt forces is not a primary objective, but we pretty much kill them all as we can. Plus, by killing them all, we just get more ranks and experience, so, nothing wrong with that. Okay, where are we at? I believe this mission was in France. 
Let's see what kind of map we've got going on here. Alright, so... Disrupted one of our operatives, who was in the our operative is a long way back behind everything. In of new intel. I do not Strike like the position our operative is in. And deal with any He's really far from both of these transmitters and our entire the team. From the remaining arrays. <sighs> Okay. Is our only we're gonna move our uh, we can't to lose the them. extraction point is back here. We have a new so we're gonna move our, our our main troops in. They're gonna move all the way up to this first one up here that's closest to our operative. He's gonna take just hide if he can inside one of these box cars or somewhere. That way he's not seen. Once my main troops are in place, I'll stagger a couple up towards this way, and then he can come in. They can help protect him. We'll disarm this one first. Head this way, then disarm this one, and that way we're the closest to the extraction point at that point. So, let's see. Neither do you, Exocon, I know, man, but we're gonna do our best to keep you alive. Um, let's see. I wanna get my sniper up on top of one of these boxcars if possible. Oh, uh, apparently not, so... I need you to be in at least a decent position, so I'm gonna put you up here. That's a little bit of elevation, not much, but a little bit. Just have you hunker down there for the moment. And then Oogie. Uh, Mr. Mr. Heavy. Go ahead and bring you right around this corner. Put you right there, Overwatch. Yeah, that's I, I have noticed that a little bit, uh, Silver Rice, so I will try and I'm probably not gonna move my operative much, if at all. I'm gonna kinda keep going forward and wait and see. If now that they pop out, then I might do something, but Alright, our wings, my support. I'm just gonna have you tail up behind my heavy for the moment. Go ahead, just follow him, keep him alive. Galgaroth, my assault. I'm gonna move you up behind Heading these stacks of wood here. Have you guard to the left. Alright, oh, we got three guys right there, okay. We should get a couple overwatch shots on them. Uh, that's a big miss. However, our wings hit. So, Spooky gets a second reaction shot, though. And he actually hit that one, so... A sniper should be able to hit a couple of those, too, on, their turn, on his turn again, so that'll be nice. Um, Skelgaroth does not have any kind of sight on them. And you get a grenade over there. You cannot. Would've been nice. Um, what can do, though, is have you run a gun, and then throw a grenade. I wanna have you do that. Um, I don't wanna- I wanna move you where you at least have some cover, but... Move you up here. And you should be able to get a couple shots on them. Not a grenade, I'm sorry, I meant shots, but... 64% on him is the only one, so we'll just go ahead and see if you can... That's only if we uh, rapid fire, though. What if I just have you normal fire? 79%. Yeah, just do that. Oh, you missed anyways. Okay, well, I should have had you ra rapid fire then. Alright, well, then I need to bring Silver Rice up right up here. I'm going to have Silver Rice dash up. Actually, right up here. He'll be right nice in the open, so they'll hopefully take their shots onto Silver Rice. He'll also get a couple shots on them, probably. 82% and 82%. Take the guy out that has barely any health left. Boom. Perfect. And then let's have Flash Striker. We'll have you... Enemy or not Flash Striker, I'm sorry. Killins now. Killins, you're just gonna come out right in the open over here, so any shots hopefully will be taken on our mechs. Because the mechs can take it, the other guys not so much. Especially since none of them have Titan armor yet. And then Exocon... Just hold your position right there for right now. Don't move. Alright, so this guy's turn. Regen pheromones. Interesting. I don't know. Oh, I healed him. Okay. Well, hopefully that's his turn. And I should be able to just take him out. Oh, I got three coming in from the side. Oh, one of them has a rocket launcher. Okay. Alright, so we gotta be ready for that guy. He's gotta go down. He's the immediate priority. I got one more guy coming in from this side, apparently. I didn't see him before, but he missed on killing, so that's fine. Alright, Tander has headshots. Can he headshot the guy with the rocket launcher? It looks like he can. I'm gonna go ahead and try, because I want him dead. Oh, didn't kill him, but close. Alright, so someone else is gonna have to finish him off. Um, 62%, 52%. Uh, let's go ahead just with the 62, see if he can hit him. No, nope, that was a miss. Probably should have rushed you up a little bit. Um, our wings. I'm gonna move you right up in front of him behind these boxes, then give you a shot. I want you to take that... That guy with the rocket launcher is the most important to take out. Boom! Thank you so much. That's the one I was worried about the most. Okay, now. Let's see. No, nope, not Exocon. 
Where is my Mr. Sniper? He already took a guy out, didn't he? So, Silver Ice. Um, I'm gonna move you. Where am I gonna move you? I'm gonna move you just right over here. And you can take the guys up top. I'll have Killins take the guys to the left. 94%. Go ahead and shoot him. Oh, what a miss. Ouch. Alright, well, that sucked. Um, Killins. I wonder if you could flamethrower this guy up here. I'm gonna move you right up on him. See if you can get a flamethrower shot on him. Let's see. Flamethrower. Oh, I would just hit the one. Um, actually... Might hit... No, I don't think it does hit that guy. No, it's not quite far enough. But... Does... What does that do? Six damage? I'll go ahead and do that. I haven't used that barely ever. I want to see if that does well. He's on fire. I don't know if that, like, ticks him off or not. He's panicking! Okay, Exocon. Hold your spot. And then Skell. Um, who do you have shots on? You have a shot on him for 79%. That's the only guy, so... Go ahead and take it. See if you can finish him off. Nice. Very good. Perfect. Alright, now... You actually get a second shot, I believe. But you don't have one. And you get a grenade over on that guy. You could. Although it doesn't do a lot of damage, so it doesn't really help you all that much. Um, other than that, why don't I just put you in Overwatch for now, in case anything moves. You can shoot it. Now, they're going to take shots at Silver Ice. That's pretty much guaranteed. He's actually going to throw a grenade. What the? Oh, he threw a smoke grenade. Okay. I thought he threw a grenade, at, a regular grenade at his own guy. I thought that would have been hilarious. All right, this guy will get an Overwatch shot on. Nice, six damage, very nice. Even in the smoke cloud, I like it. And he's gonna take a shot at Silver Ice. Ooh, five damage, that was a pretty good shot. Although his, uh, he'll take less damage after that now. He'll take a shot at Killens. These guys actually have laser guns. They haven't had those before, that's a first. Okay, Tander, I need you to give me a nice little sniper shot on somebody. 77, 92 is our best shot. Go ahead and take that. Finish that guy off. No more smoke grenades for him. Boogie, we're gonna bring you up behind this, uh, behind the transmitter here, and then give you a shot. But oh, you're out of ammo. Never mind. I'm not gonna give you a shot. You're just gonna reload. Should have paid attention to that. Our wings. You can't see that guy, but you might. If I bring you over here, you might be able to. Yeah, there you go. Only 64%, but it's better than nothing. Boom, you hit him anyways. Awesome. And then Skell, you actually can see somebody. That guy, 19% though, is, is nothing. Can you get a grenade over there? He only has three health. If you can get a grenade over there, he'd be dead. Nope, but you also have some movement. Since you have Sprinter, you have a lot of movement. So I'm just going to move you up behind this crate here and see if I can get you a little bit better percentage shot at least. A whole 1% better, but actually, now that you're closer, can you get a grenade? Look at that! Let me move my angle around here, make sure I'm throwing one that's gonna hit him. Right there ought to do it. That should hit him. Boom! Bye-bye, sir. I don't care if you have smoke grenades, I have real grenades, and they do damage. Alright, now. Let's bring Silver Ice... Oh, where are we going to bring you? Let's start bringing you over this way. Position That's the general direction we're going to go anyways. Now I'm going to have you reload because you are low on ammo. Killins. We're just going to move you right up to the side here and blow the crap out of that guy. Just blow him up. Beat him down. Goodbye, sir. Oh my god, he missed. Oh, don't I feel stupid now. Alright, Exocon, I could dash you up almost to Silver Ice, but not quite, so I just want you to stay right where you're at for now. I'll bring you up in a minute. I can't believe I missed on that guy, that was pathetic. Oh, pathetic. Oh, he's gonna shoot at Skell. Oh, he missed, nice. Okay. We're alright, we're okay so far. Tander, my sniper, needs to reload, really. But I also want to get him to a better position for this entire place, so... I'm gonna dash him right up here, have him just wait there, I'll have him reload next turn. But this is a good spot for him to probably remain for a majority of the game. Um, 
Googie actually can get a shot on that guy. 42%. Can I just get a grenade over there? If I can, then perfect. Okay. Take that guy out that way. Boom. All right. No more guy. Now, our wings, you need to reload. Go ahead and do that. Skelgaroth definitely needs to reload. Ready to engage. Silver Rice is already reloaded, so we're going to bring Silver Rice up. Well, up to this corner, I guess. I don't want you too far ahead of everybody, but this gets you close enough to my operative where he can dash up to you, so I'll go ahead and put you in Overwatch. Killins, we'll have you come up to the side over here and then have you reload. And then, let's see here. I wonder... No, I could just have you heal yourself. Why don't you go ahead and do that for a moment? Get yourself some health back. Ah. Ah. Nice four heal there. Exocon, you go ahead and I'm going to have you dash all the way up here next to your buddy. There we go. Australian advertisements? What is this? Twitch keep changing over to ads on you or something? All right, Tander, Overwatch, Oogie, you're gonna stay right here in Overwatch. Our wings, you're gonna come up this way. Um, I'm gonna dash you over to this corner, and then put you just keep you right there. Skelgaroth, I want to bring you right up to the other side of here. Put you into Overwatch right there. Beautiful. Silver Rice, you're gonna just take a position right up by this transmitter right here. Put you into Overwatch right there. And we're gonna have Exocon run up to the transmitter. Gillens, I want you right on this corner. That gives us a nice kind of angle covering both transmitters at the moment. Put you into Overwatch. And Exocon, up to the transmitter, sir. Perfect. Oh, emotes are working now? Good. I'm glad. Oh. And more people coming in. Yep, I got an airdrop guy on the top there. Should get an overwatch shot on him. Another airdrop guy on the top as well. Alright, boom. Take one guy out. Very nice. Alright, let's see if we can take the other ones out. Tander, my sniper, is in a perfect position to take that guy out, so I'm going to have him do so. Boom. Not enough damage, but still worked. So let's go ahead and Oogie, you stay in overwatch right where you're at. Our wings, right where you're at. Same with Skell. Now we'll have Silver Ice try and take that guy out. Should be able to. Boom, perfect. Awesome. And then Killens will go into Overwatch on his turn. Silver Ice, you need to go ahead and reload now. Reloading weapons. Killens. Uh, Killens needs to reload too, but I need at least one person at Overwatch, so he'll stay in Overwatch. Good. We'll go ahead and hack that. Some of the exalt data. And it looks like the communications were disrupted by our hack. And then let's keep looking for the remaining dash Exocon over here. And he has a little bit of protection Solid from a couple copy, people, Commander. so should be okay. Let's dash him over there. Heads up, Commander. All right. Exalt forces are moving we got a guy coming in from behind. I should get an overwatch shot on him. Our wings has one. Perfect. Nice hit. All right. Anybody else? Oh, that's the only one. Tanders. I don't know if you'll be able to see him there or not, but he should be able to get a shot. Our wings got another reaction shot. Hit that one as well. Our wings doing some nice base damage to these guys. Very cool. And oh, Skell's gonna get a reaction shot on this one as well. Oh, Skell took that one out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So Tander cannot see that guy. So Tander's just gonna stay in Overwatch where he's at. Oogie can see that guy. But not very well. Um so that's the case wonder. Change our angle here a little bit. Does that provide any protection right there? It does. So I'm going to move you right up to this corner. Have you take the shot now. It's not a good shot, but I'm going to have you... Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to put you into Overwatch. So if he moves out, you can hit him. Our wings needs to get into a better cover spot and reload. So I'll put you right there. Have you go ahead and reload yourself. Skell, you could probably run and gun the guy. You've got ammo. You've got run and gun up. I'm just going to do that. Run and gun. You're going to come right up behind him and shoot him right in the back of the head. So, you're going to run all the way right up here. There we go. And just pump him one right in the back of the head when he doesn't see you coming up behind him. Oh, he turned around, but he's still going to die. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. All right, Silver Ice, my mechs. I'm going to have you just dash up right out in the open over here. 
Uh, just right there is fine. We'll cover this side. And then we'll have Killens coming on the other side. Perfect. And then Killens. I'm gonna bring you up over to the other side, but I'm gonna bring you just this far so you can actually go into Overwatch mode. And that should, uh... That should cover us pretty well. And Exocon can go ahead and hack that. And now we just have to get to the extraction point, which is right there. Not very far at all, so... Not bad. I actually almost have the ability to dash all the way there, but since I don't, I'm gonna put him into just a bit of protection for now. And then we'll do that next turn. Wait and see what they drop down on us. New contacts moving in, Commander. Yep, knew something was gonna come in. Couple reaction shots. Probably kill him off. He's got a rocket launcher, so I'd like to take him out. Oh man, so many misses. Come on. I mean, Exocon actually hit him, apparently, but. Boogie's taking a shot, though. No, oh, no, he missed again. Damn. Come on, guys. Can't be missing this stuff. Alright, and we got another guy hopping the fence on that side. Alright. Tander, I'm gonna hold off on you for a second. Let's see if Oogie can just... Add 48%, huh? Hold on, anybody else got a better percentage shot on this guy at all? Y'all could, if I move Scale right here. Take the shot, 100%. But we gotta take this guy out, because he's got a rocket launcher and we don't like those. They're very, very mean. You know what I'm gonna do, Silver Ice? You haven't got to see me do this yet. You've been waiting for this so so patiently. I'm gonna come up right on this guy and punch him in the face. Ha! Boom! Over. I think you pretty much just made his head explode. <laughs> All right, Killins. We do have a guy over there to the side. So what I want you to do is move up on him and shoot him. Shoot him in his smug little okay. face. Alright. 77% chance. Please hit him. Nice shot. Uh, Alright, I just need to get one more shot on him if possible. Ammo on reserves. Exocon actually has a shot on him. 100% even. Oh, perfect. One damage right there. Down he goes. I like it. Alright, Tander, you're gonna go ahead and reload. Back online. Boogie, you need to reload. Ready to rock. Our wings, you can come up. Well, actually, I'm going to keep you right where you're at for now. See if they drop Hostile any more guys on us. On yep. Position, oh, they dropped one right behind us here. Our wings does get his shot, though. Nice. And does anybody else get a shot on him? Nope. But he, he ran up right next to Silver Ice. I mean, he's going to get punched in the face just like his friend did. Except that guy has a rocket launcher. I don't like that. Um... So actually, instead of punching him in the face, I'm going to see if I can kill him with the other guys. Because Silver Ice is going to go take that guy with the rocket launcher off, if possible. Alright, Skull needs to reload now. Silver Ice, you're going to come up right around this corner here. You're going to pump some ammo right into that guy. Off Killen's coming from the other side and hit him. Alright. Nice shot on him, please. Boom. Now we'll move Killen's in. Come up right on the other side of him. Yeah, he likes having two big robots come up on him. Shoot him in the face. Oh, I don't have any ammo left. Uh, alright. I do have a flamethrower left, though. So, burn! Well done, Commander. Ha -ha. We killed all the, uh, operatives. Or, all the, uh, all the exalt commandos. So we didn't even have to go to the extraction zone. I like doing that, to be honest, because it gets us more experience, so more level ups and whatnot.